Charles Wilhelm has become known as one of the country's top trainers for both horses and people. His approach to training focuses on educating the horse owner alongside their equine partners so they can form a strong bond and achieve an amazing partnership. You know, we worked on a dry work and got a little bit of control of a horse. Um, if this was a real working cow horse, a horse in training, we'd probably have several weeks before uh, we get it down a little bit better, much softer, less resistance in the horse's face, uh, which means to the bit. Uh, but we, we intentionally using a horse that's not used to that kind of maneuver, so the, the idea to show you that every horse can learn it. The next part here is to uh, introduce it to the flag, or I call the electronic cow. Some people call it the mechanical cow, but it's flag work. And the idea of the flag work is um, not only teaching the horse position, but the owner position. You know, it's just not running your horse down, you know, chasing a cow back, and then running down, chasing it back. There's a lot more finesse to it. Uh, all you big pros that actually do quite well in the industry and win and well-known in the industry, uh, they literally spend hours and doing uh, just uh, the fundamentals of the flag uh, to position the horse. Um, it saves on the cows, you know, because you have to trade out cows, you lose the freshness. Uh, but position is everything, tracking is everything, and rating. Uh, and we're, you're going to hear a little bit more, more about rating. But first thing we have to do, just because it's, if this flag, and my camera can look at it, uh, is going to be moving around. I have a controller here that I can stop and go uh, whenever I like. There's also uh, uh, five programs that I can uh, program five of them. This is the neat thing about it. When we do these clinics, everyone thinks they have good control of the shoulders, and I turn this thing on and they realize they have no control of the shoulders. And if, if you don't have shoulder controllers and you can't do this, you're not gonna be able to do cows. So the first thing we're gonna do is introduce her to it, make sure she's comfortable with it. And the other thing is then we're gonna start tracking it and start working on our position. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn in front of my cameraman and, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, hit the, the flag, move the flag. All right, if you notice, my horse's ears went up, and then I'm moving it again, and then I'm going to stop, all right, and let her digest that a little bit. Okay, slow is fast, okay, uh, and then I'm going to take it the other way. This is on a very slow speed for now, and then I'm going to stop and pause, all right. Now, I've had horses in a big indoor arena where I've had to start this thing literally. Uh, this is about, our indoor arena is a little bit longer than this, and it's about 200 feet where we've started at the end, other end of the arena uh, to get them accustomed to it. So, uh, and then I'm going to ask it to move to the right. Now I'm going to ask it to pick up a little speed. Now I did that with my remote control. You notice that my horse's eyes is paying attention to it, okay? Now, I'm gonna start asking my horse to start following it, okay? From far away. Keep the eyes on it. And then let her track left. And hope. Now, it's important to have a good stop on your horse, and uh, we, we didn't hit a lot on that, but you need a pretty good stop. And that horse needs to be stopping off your seat, and also need to be uh, stopping with your voice command. Now what we're gonna do is, not only we're gonna track this, but the whole idea is get this horse to start stopping on its own when the flag stops. Okay, that's our, our next step. Now she's pretty comfortable with it, so I'm going to ask the flag to go right. I'm going to ask my horse to stay with it. You notice that the front end moved around. And then when the flag stops, I'm going to ask the horse to stop. Oh. 
All right. Now, I'm going to ask the flag to go left. Now, I'm going to ask my horse to follow the flag. And here again, I, I'm going to, when the flag stops, hey, I'm going to ask my horse to stop. Okay. The horse is going to learn this about association. You know, uh, I don't think I ever had a horse learn to do it in the first day. Maybe the second day. Sometimes I've had him start think, thinking about it on the second day. It usually takes four or five days uh, for them to really start getting it, unless they've worked a flag before, you know, and they're just green at it. So an important thing is I want to be able to stop square here too as well. All right. And, uh, I go, and I'm going to want a nice draw. In other words, the shoulder moves over here to the right. All right. So I'm going to ask my horse to... Uh, I'm going to ask the cow, the flag, to turn right, and then I, I'm going to ask my horse to follow it. Whoa. Okay, pause. I'm not as straight as I like. I'm a little, now I'm straight. I was a little bleak. Okay, so position is everything. Now here again, like I said earlier, I may be starting further away in, in, on this. And I don't want to be any closer, more closer to the flag that I am. Quicker controls that I have to have. So I'm going to ask for a little bit of trot. Flag stops. And I stopped the horse. I waited on the horse, gave the horse an opportunity to stop. I stopped the flag. And if you notice, I, I didn't say, whoa, anything. And I waited for the horse. Now, eventually, I'm going to quit saying, whoa. I'm going to use my seat. But I'm going to want to start relying on me staying, saying, whoa. The flag is going to say, whoa. Okay. And here again, I'm going to trust my horse, my my cow, my flag's going to turn right, and I'm, I'm trusting my horse to go with it, all right? And it kind of thought about it there a little bit, and then trot up. Hey. All right, I'm going to wait on my, I'm going to turn the cow back down the fence. Wait on my horse, see if it goes with it. He's thinking about it, and I follow through. Trot. Stop the cow. Hey, stop the horse. This is real consistent work. This is boring work, and people do, you, you're not going to want to do this. Cow work is very boring, it's just repetitiveness. And, and the problem is if you go too fast on it, all you end up doing is getting your horse jacked up and he doesn't learn anything. He starts getting out of body. This is, this is not to take the place of live cows. This is to teach you body position, your horse's body position. Okay, getting used to stop when the movement is. Okay, and not rush it. Pretty soon, some of these horses so cowy, they start chasing anything. Okay. Um, we don't know if this one is or not. We don't know. Maybe in four or five days we'll find out. Just because it's bred to be a cow horse doesn't mean the cow, the cow comes out of it in a short period of time. Now the horse is moving into my cow, so I'm going to move it back out using my cow leg. All right. Turn my cow to the right. Trust my horse to see if it goes with it. It didn't, so I'm going to bring it around. Going to catch up with it. The, horse, the flag stop, and I stop. We hope you've enjoyed watching Charles Wilhelm's Ultimate Foundation Horsemanship. Remember, to find out more about Charles and to see how you can get the most out of your relationship with your horse, visit Charles online at charleswilhelm.com.